Welcome to CKS, everyone. I'm CS Caraval from CK Research. I'm here on site in the Expo Hall at AWS reInvent 2023 in Las Vegas. And I'm joined by a cast of characters here. So, uh, <laughs> leading off with uh, Joe Vaccaro, uh, you're with Thousand Eyes, which is a Cisco company. Uh, quick intro on yourself. Yeah, so I'm uh, Joe Vaccaro. I lead the product organization at uh, Thousand Eyes. Been with the company about five years now, uh, leading the overall product uh, team. And uh, also Joe Berger, our AVP from Worldwide, technology, uh, quick info on yourself. Yes, yes, good to see you as usual. Well, you're a regular here. I am a regular now, apparently, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, so Joe Berger, I run the digital experience practice for Worldwide Technology. You don't get paid anymore, though. So. No, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, Neil Anderson from Worldwide Technology, just a quick line on yourself. Yeah, so area VP of our cloud and infrastructure team. That's all things networking, data center, cloud, automation, and data and AI. That's a lot of stuff. So, as I mentioned, we're here at uh, AWS reInvent, what a show, huh? There's the Expo Hall's packed. It's busy, yeah, for sure. Uh, any thoughts from the keynote this morning? We'll start with you. Yeah, it's just, it, the speed of the innovation is what I picked up on. Just, you know, unbelievable. And uh, of course, you know, you would expect that at, uh, out of cloud and AWS, but just the, the innovations that they're announcing are just unbelievable. Do you worry sometimes that maybe they're almost innovating ahead of what customers can digest? That is, sure. That's very common. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it's hard. I mean, when you when you go look at what's on AWS Portal, like there's just so many different yeah. services and capabilities. Most customers only use a fraction of them today. But yeah. and I think that's a testament to why this place is so busy right now. Yeah. Everyone is trying to get up to speed of where they're at, get their people trained, get the certifications. Yeah. Yeah. Well, any any key takeaways from you from the keynote? Anything you like? Everything AI. Everything AI. You know, yeah. from a customer experience perspective, which is in my world, that really got us excited. So it got my team talking about, well, what can we go do uh, and get better engaged around what, what AWS is coming out to market with, for sure. And how about you, Joe? I know, you, know you, you do a lot of cloud monitoring, and so the more stuff that moves in AWS, the better it is for a company like that. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, from my perspective, um, a customer's environment is only getting more and more complex, yet the expectations of what the digital experience over that connection is only getting even more uh, fine-grained. And so from that perspective, you know, we hear customers talking a lot about, look, I want to use all these services, but also how do I then assure that digital experience across them? Um, and I think that's my takeaway. I mean, that's what powers what we do. Yeah. Something that continues to kind of fuel the innovation from Thousand Eyes as AWS and others continue to drive new innovations into the market. So Cisco's now on Thousand Eyes for a few years, right? Uh, yeah, three years. Uh, now. Three years, I think. Yeah, it's part of Cisco's full stack observability. Uh, play, which I think most people would associate with that now, or internet monitoring. But what are some of the other common use cases for Thousand Eyes? You know, I think about uh, you know what Thousand Eyes is aimed to try to solve, right? Uh, digital experience, as we just talked about, is more important than ever before, yet you're in control of it uh, as little as you've ever had in your life. And so I think there's three things that customers need to do, and you know, Worldwide is a big part of this. You know, customers need to connect everything, so you think about where connections originate from, you need to then secure everything. And then lastly, I'd say you need to assure everything. So you need to assure your SD-WAN uh, connection. You need to assure your digital experience from every endpoint. You need to be able to assure your digital experiences for your conference rooms that are hosting your meetings. What Thousand X provides is really a overall network assurance platform that allows you to apply that to many different use cases. FSO being one of them, but from an SD-WAN, from a hybrid work, and many others, you can be able to apply it from a broad perspective to help you to see every path like you own it. And I know, um, worldwide technology we're working with Thousand Eyes actually pre-Cisco acquisition, right? And uh, so what was it initially that, that attracted Thousand Eyes? It was a relatively small company then yeah. uh, to, to WWT. Yeah, when, our, when we did our first intro, you know, I remember that distinctly. I was blown away because it really is solving the problem of, like you mentioned, Joe, apps are everywhere. People are now anywhere. And chances are, you're not, you know, you're, you're, that session's running over lots of different connections that yeah. are probably not your network. Yeah. And so we were just blown away by the crowdsourcing of essentially outages, being able to tell end to end, like where exactly is something breaking down? And I called it mean time to innocence for IT. Like you can prove that it's not the network in a snap of time. I was also blown away by, uh, I remember the conversation with them that the number one seller at the time or that was pushing Thousand Eyes was actually the SaaS providers mm -hmm. because it solved a problem for them. So they're, you know, yeah, they, pick, pick one of them. They're always getting support calls like, oh, your app's slowing down. They generated the outage before the SaaS provider. Exactly. Yeah. 
So yeah, I remember that. It was just, uh, and, it, and it's paid off. Like we, we were happy when Cisco bought them because there's so much synergy with the rest of Cisco's portfolio. It just makes total sense. Yeah, and we announced um, at our Cisco partner uh, summit just a few weeks ago that Worldwide Technologies was our partner of the year. And so, yeah, yeah, you know, they we- Yeah, won 19 awards. I hear about <laughs> 20, I think, was it. Wow. All deserves, yeah. yes, all deserves. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Joe, uh, one of the first, very first conversations I had with you, I asked, what would you like more to Cisco? And you're like, more thousand eyes. Right? More thousand eyes in more places. Why is that? Well, it just makes so much sense in, in all the different aspects that Cisco does, right? At the network layer, at the observability layer, as you mentioned, the conference rooms, the endpoints, the VPN clients, especially as a lot of organizations look at hybrid work, they have to figure out what is that end user experience. And that's ultimately, at least in my opinion, what it comes down to, because that's what I care about is the end user and the experience. It gives such great uh, observability into what's going on there. They can troubleshoot so much faster and more efficiently than they have before. So one of the comments you made was you were delighted when Cisco bought Thousand Eyes. Now that they've owned it for a few years, what's been the one plus one equals three here? I think integrating it with the Cisco product suites. So, you know, being able to leverage the huge networking footprint that Cisco has and being able to embed all those Thousand Eyes agents everywhere around the globe, it just makes the, the Thousand Eyes cloud and all that information a lot smarter. And I think, so I think that's a, to me, that's the one plus one equals three is just marrying that with Cisco's network footprint and the portfolio and being able to get that extra intelligence is, is really, a, uh, really a bonus for customers. Yeah, we kind of talk about it in a sense that you know, we want to have a vantage point for every device, a test for every application, and then a common operational language that allows enterprises, cloud providers, service providers to work together as one team to be able to resolve issues no matter where along that path the issue uh, lies. Yeah, now I noticed at the event, obviously, let's talk a little AWS since we're here. Uh, <laughs> Thousand Eyes announced this morning uh, enhancements to what you're doing with CloudWatch, uh, Amazon CloudWatch. Can yeah. you uh, double click on that? A little more detail on what that what that is. First, I mean, uh, if you go back to where applications are residing, as we know, more and more applications are now being hosted, you know, natively in the AWS cloud infrastructure. And as you enter into that cloud infrastructure, the traditional visibility that you had somewhat gets diminished as you think about the layers of abstraction within a network as complex of AWS. And so, a few months ago, we announced the ability to enrich the path visualization with data that we get uh, directly from AWS. Now today, what we announce is an enhancement to that based upon the CloudWatch Internet Monitor, which is a service with, from AWS, that together between Thousand Eyes and CloudWatch Internet Monitor, we can provide our customers an even richer sense of what's happening across that broader internet. Because as you mentioned, you can't trust status pages, but you can, cross, you can trust Thousand Eyes to be that authoritative source of truth on the real-time health of the internet. So by leveraging CloudWatch Internet Monitor data directly inside of Thousand Eyes, we can also help our customers with better targeting of where their test should be destined to. We can help them with a better understanding in the context of the internet. And this is just a, a proof point in a long partnership of where we are looking to take Thousand Eyes together with AWS. Uh, now, Joe, I know you obviously have you know, thousands of customers, right? Uh, you're the last the digital experience uh, person. So when you think about the stuff that Thousand Eyes does and customers that rely heavily on on AWS, how does how do those fit together to actually help you help your customers understand that last, especially well, the last mile of the digital? Experience? I think it gives customers a lot more options on where they want to put those applications and where the data needs to live. As Neil kind of said, people aren't necessarily within their own network anymore to get their jobs done. They're working from home, they're working in coffee shops. So the fact that, that Thousand Eyes can give that visibility, whether it's in the AWS cloud or on-prem or in a SaaS environment. It just gives them so much more freedom to actually see what, you know, where are the issues happening? How do I troubleshoot it? And knowing about it before it even becomes a problem. Anyone add to that? No, and I think just, I think, uh, you know, the pandemic really turned this on, on its head because you think about having to monitor all those people working from home. IT doesn't know what kind of experience they're getting yeah. or not. I mean, but I with Thousand Eyes, you can tell. Yeah. yeah, it's a branch of, we kind of, you know, think of this phrase as it's a branch of one now, right? Every, every home is a dedicated branch office, and now you have, you went from maybe having tens of office to now hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of unique office locations that you need to assure that digital experience yeah. place. And so Joe, also expand on that too. Talk about the role you play in multi-cloud. Obviously we're in AWS shows, lots of customers here, but more and more customers are looking to multi-cloud. And I'll, I'll even throw in, 
you know, hybrid cloud edge, you know, yeah. you know that, that big mix. And so what's the role you play there? Yeah, so, you know, Thousand Nights can help our customers to assure that digital experience, because if you think about a cloud architecture, many times different layers of that application stack are going to be hosted in different places uh, for different reasons, whether it's sovereignty reasons, performance reasons, a variety of reasons. Yet each of those different layers of that application architecture have to be connected across a network. Therefore, then that network needs to be assured of that digital experience across it. Many times those links have highly sensitive uh, variables that can dramatically yeah, impact the overall experience of that application. So Thousand Eyes helps you to be able to then assure that path, no matter if that path is going from a data center to AWS across a direct neck link, going through a interconnection point such as Equinix, or whether it's going through between AWS to Azure or the likes. So that's typically a, a black box, right? 100%. You yeah. yeah. can actually help customers understand no, you do need to make that And then as you think about it, you can then apply that not only in terms of the runtime of the operational uh, 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 the operational side, but also the migration side of how do you baseline the performance of an application that you're migrating to a cloud or between clouds? How do you benchmark the connectivity so that you can be more uh, assertive of then rolling that out across your organization? Okay, so uh, a couple of questions on the Cisco side. Uh, you can like cover yours. You're going to ask about Splunk. Uh, you know, you've worked with Splunk for a long time as well, so it's a similar situation when they acquire thousands. What excites you about the, what Splunk can add? to Thousand Eyes and to the overall uh, full stack. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really excited about Fuller it stack. because Fuller stack. obviously, you know, Splunk plays an important role in security and, and observability. So being able to leverage the full suite of Cisco's capabilities like Thousand Eyes, App Dynamics, and others, and then marry that up with the correlation uh, with Splunk, we think that's a winning formula. It's really going to benefit customers a lot. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, from an observability layer, no one else is going to come close once the acquisition goes through and they actually put everything together. As Neil said, with AppD in there, Thousand Eyes, and now Splunk, I mean, it's just a really compelling package. I want to ask you your comment. Though. Hi, yeah. well, Joe, Joe and Neil said it well. Yeah, so uh, just one last question. Uh, as I think about the customer journey to multi-cloud or even hybrid cloud, uh, there are a lot of complexities, right? This isn't cookie gutter stuff. And so I know, uh, the worldwide technology has a, an advanced technology center to help with that. So maybe talk a little bit about what it is and how customers can leverage it. Absolutely. So our advanced technology center is really a, a collection of labs that our customers can come and test out technology before they make decisions to, to go deploy it. And you know, you mentioned about complex architectures. We can test that end-to-end -end architecture, including it's connected to AWS, it's connected to Equinix, it's connected to other, other parts of the network. So we can really help customers visualize and then test in the lab that how are all these technologies gonna fit end-to-end. -end. And again, a perfect use case for Thousand Eyes because even our environment is complex. Even our, even our own ETC oh, yeah. is, is interconnected all over the place. And so it, even helping us to understand, all right, where's that slowdown happening? The other thing I think is, uh, you know, you mentioned about app architecture. I think it's, it's really out, actually enabling app architects to, with a lot more flexibility. You know, if you think about before, I may have been reluctant to try to break down my application and run it in different clouds. Or maybe I have my storage and my data cloud adjacent and I don't want to actually put it in the cloud. But those are, those are getting complicated. But Thousand Eyes, I think, gives you that visibility that you can have the confidence to do that and have that flexibility with your app architecture if you need to. Yeah. And how do you find the relationship with the market? Obviously, they're, they're a 20 time partner of the year. So. Yeah. I mean, you know, Worldwide Technology is one of our, if not, as we mentioned, our leading partners, not only in helping us to to, uh, to be able to expose Thousand Nights to new customers, but I consider them a trusted partner to me in helping me to ensure that I'm taking the product in the right direction to solve customer problems. Because at the end of the day, all I care about is addressing the customer problems, and there's no better partner to help me to understand what those are. All right. Well, anything else you guys want to add? So I guess we're off to find out what the next 100 press releases are going to be in this show. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, on behalf of Joe, yeah. Joe, and Neil M. Zisker of Val from CK, we just say thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Another day.